What's cracking, folks? It's your boy Lee Man X here, and I wanted to talk about something I'm noticing a lot of my friends on Steam don't seem to know, and it can really help you save a little money uh, towards your next purchase in Steam. And it's the fact that basically, when you buy a new game on Steam, you get these trading cards, and these trading cards can be sold to other people on Steam for money that you can use towards your next purchase on Steam. So it's not really like big time money. It's really only like, I think each card on average is like, you can get 10 cents for it. I've got a couple that were 20 cents and 30 cents, but it adds up over time. Yeah, it is kind of time consuming, but if you're doing something else or you work from home or lucky to work from home or anything like that, kind of like a game on the side, you can kind of play and you actually get real money for it. So it actually tells you here, like for example, it tells you how much the card is typically going for. Like you see this here, it's like seven cents if you read that little graph. And um, it's like, you know, the average is seven cents. So I always put it under like one cent usually. It looks like I'm gonna put this in for seven cents, but either way you get the deal, you get it. So you typically the buyer is gonna pay about two or three cents more than you um, asked to receive. So, um, so yeah, so if I put in seven cents, the buyer's gonna pay nine cents typically. And um, if they purchase it, then you get that, you know, that money. So if you have a lot of cards, um, like me, I'm sure most of you actually have way more cards than me because when I see other people's game um, profile, they just have tons of games. So yeah, man, it's, it's definitely, like I said, easy money. Um, it is kind of time consuming. I actually started messing around on it uh, right now. About an hour has gone by since I recorded this and I made like a dollar, you know? But like I said, if you're working from home doing something on the side or playing games and just want to have something to do on the side, over time you're probably going to spend all day on your games anyway. So, yeah, I mean, you could probably make, you know, five bucks in five hours whatever and it seems to go the sell pretty fast I uh, sold a card um, this morning and pretty much within I don't know five to ten minutes um, it was sold and uh, so now I have a whole like list of things I'm trying to sell because uh, I actually did this years and years ago but again it's so time-consuming I was like oh, I don't really feel like doing it but at least you guys know you can decide like I said if you're bored and want to do something and uh, you know you're maybe pinching, uh, pinching pennies. But I'm kind of in that situation right now. Got a family trip planned for the summer, and I really don't want to spend any money, so I'm like trying to save up, save up. But summer sale on Steam, all these great games for sale for like three bucks, four bucks, five bucks. So if I was able to scrap together, you know, a buck or two on here, and uh, you know, get a get a game almost for free, basically if it was three bucks, four bucks, so. Anyways, just saying if you're uh, trying to watch your, watch your wallet and watch that money, maybe it's something worthwhile doing for you. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys out. If this does help anybody out, please like and subscribe. And uh, I will catch you guys on my next vid. Peace.